joining today i appreciate it i know it has been a minute since i made a video but had to do it today i am collaborating with my buddy um who is a wonderful perfume reviewer and a wonderful person her name is kia also known as yummy 411 so please check out her channel all her information is in the description box below and kia had the wonderful idea to talk about summer perfumes but in particular maybe five that we have that we love right now and then also five that we really are thinking about getting for the summer so 10 total i'm trying to do better i'm trying to stop spending so much money it's so hard because as always there's constantly new stuff coming out and there are five in particular i'm really curious about but you know i might have some self-control i'm not sure but to get started i'm going to talk about five that i currently own that i really love that i really think that i'm going to wear pretty often for the summer so the first one is one that it's kind of different for me because i didn't try the original of this one and this is chanel gabrielle essence i didn't try the original gabrielle and typically if I try a flanker, I like to have at least some experience with the original in some way, shape, or form. But there was something about the original um, Gabrielle that I just didn't have an interest in. Not even knowing what it smelled like, it just came off to me from the description like it was going to be a really boring, typical floral, right? So I was like, nah, I'm not going to bother with that. But with the Chanel Essence... I found out there's orange blossom in this one and so I immediately gravitated toward it I'm like I gotta check this out ended up with a sample of it and was like yeah have to get this one so we'll start off with Chanel Gabrielle essence being one that's gonna be in heavy rotation for the summer and let me share all the notes with you in this one so outside of orange blossom we have peach they're red fruits in here not sure what those red fruits are that's how they describe it black currant white florals tuberose which i love ylang ylang jasmine which i also love i think jasmine goes so well with orange blossom and i see a lot of fragrances lately combining jasmine and orange blossom there's coconut musk vanilla and sandalwood in here too and that gives it that nice sweetness the nice woodiness and honestly a lot of perfumes are kind of copying that you know i guess recipe so to speak but it really works in this one so i love this one i think this is like the next to the smallest bottle i got i love it but you know couldn't go full throttle and get the big big one but love this one it's just so pretty it's so feminine it's a little bit delicate it has the sweetness that i really like but the fruits with the florals give it that little extra something that I didn't see in the notes for the original. So Gabrielle Chanel Essence, this is number one that I'm really going to enjoy for summer. Next up is one that is fairly new and I talked about it. I know for sure in the springtime video that i did for perfumes but this is replicas springtime in a park this is so so pretty because it's not too heavy it's a little bit powdery it's floral it's a little bit sweet and it has that really slight like bubble bath baby powder vibe to it and it's so so like cozy almost for a floral perfume i really like this one so the notes in here you have if i can find them okay we have pear accord there's bergamot essence black currant lily of the valley which i love also jasmine comes up again vanilla rose musk ambrox they do such a beautiful job with however they're combining these notes nothing overpowers anything else and i know i've talked about this one at least two or three times at this point but this is definitely a favorite it's just so so pretty and i have also mentioned before as a result of this when i want to try other replica um, fragrances because they did such a wonderful job with this and i just like the easiness and the simplicity of the bottle so this is number two that i will definitely be reaching for 
this summer replica springtime in a park. All right, next up is a tried and true. I do believe, unfortunately, they don't make this one anymore, but this is Guerlain's Terracotta. This, to me, is a summertime staple. It has that kind of suntan lotion vibe to it, but the jasmine and coconut in here, it just screams like sexy summertime. So the notes for this one, you have, and forgive me y'all, I got notes all over the place. Okay, tierra flower, coconut, bergamot, jasmine, ylang ylang, orange blossom comes up again, vanilla and musk. And this has been a favorite for a while and you don't need a lot for this one to really stand out and have presence so so pretty i really think the tear flower the jasmine and the vanilla and the coconut are really prominent in this one and it just i just really feel like when you're thinking about summer this is one of those just really classic summer perfumes and i really hope that maybe somewhere it can still be found i have looked and i don't see it too many places i think i saw it in one spot but yeah so guerlain's terracotta has always been a favorite for me but definitely for summer so this is number four in my current collection that i will definitely be wearing for summer all right that was actually number three get it together deb okay number four is one that i don't talk about a lot this is library of flowers and this is arboretum this is another one kind of in the replica vein where it's soft it's powdery and it doesn't have too many notes but they come together to make such a unique fragrance there's cardamom in this one there is ylang ylang there's amber the notes are warm but they're still like really fresh um it's hard to describe this one also gives a cozy vibe to it but it's still like the ylang ylang really pulls something out of it when combined with the cardamom i love fragrances that have cardamom or any spice notes even for summertime so all that said um arboretum i've had this one for a while and i need to you know revisit this one a lot more because it is so 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 pretty um so yeah library of flowers has been around for quite a while but i love their fragrances and so arboretum is one that i'm definitely going to i'm sure really enjoy for summer number four and number five in my current collection and i'm not sure how to pronounce it and i should have done my research on pronunciation before i pulled this out but this is givenchy litterant whatever Melissime this is the limited edition version and it's a really strong like really heavy orange blossom and in here you have bitter orange there's ginger the orange blossom I spoke of neroli there's tuberose almond milk patchouli there's also musk and then the note that I'm not crazy about vetiver I don't like vetiver period but you know occasionally perfumers do a wonderful job combining it with other notes to the point where i can't smell that particular note so this is one of those pretty 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 um love this one learned about this one from giselle she was one of the first she's a reviewer here on youtube she was the first person i heard about this from and you know being an orange blossom lover had to check this one out and it's thick but it's not too heavy for summer and i see this one is one that would get more use in the evening because it's a little more rich compared to you know a few of the other fragrances i talked about which are a little bit lighter and work a little bit better for daytime so yeah i'm gonna just say melissime a givenchy the limited edition love this one 2021 version so to get into some fragrances that i don't have that i have been thinking about there are five of those that i've been curious about for a while now and the first one is one that is super expensive that i probably will not be purchasing and that one is tom ford's jasmine rouge and i was really curious about this one because it has jasmine which i absolutely love and cardamom and i don't think i have a fragrance that has those notes combined so i was really curious about this there's cinnamon there's ginger there's bergamot mandarin orange neroli which i love also ylang ylang 
clary sage which i'm curious about there's amber vanilla leather labdanum labdanum however you say that i'm not too familiar with that note either I'm not crazy about leather but there was just something about the combination of these notes and i've heard a lot of good things about it so jasmine rouge is definitely one that i want to check out and see how that fares i should i'm gonna get a sample of this one first there ain't going to be no blind buying with this one. Um, but yeah, that is one I'm really curious about. Number two is more simple and straightforward. Um, there are a lot of fragrances that probably mimic this particular fragrance. I have smelled it. I do like it. It is uh, Giorgio Armani's My Way. And one fragrance I have that it does smell similar to, to me, is um, Valentina's. Valentino's Voce Vida, which is like a pretty orange blossom yet again, um, a little bit sweet. So Giorgio Armani's My Way, it has bergamot, the orange blossom, tuberose, jasmine, cedarwood, vanilla, white musks. These notes seem really simple and straightforward. I don't think it's going to be anything complex. And I did smell it once and it's just pretty, you know, um, it has that little bit of sweetness that I really like. So that is one that I'm definitely going to check out. So that is number two on the list for summer fragrances that I want to check out. So number three is a house that I have familiarity with only because of Eve. And her channel is Eve Spider Smells. And she has such magnificent taste in fragrances. And she likes a house um, called Ducita. And I was not familiar with them at all before Eve sent me some samples last year. And I just absolutely fell in love because they're so unique. They're feminine. Um, the ones that I tried that I really like, they're feminine, but they're so different. So there's one, Ducita Cavatina. Egyptian jasmine, bergamot, tuberose, lily of the valley, ylang ylang, tea rose, which is different, ambrette, which I love, which is like really sweet, like a musk mallow kind of fragrance or note rather, and then vanilla and sandalwood. And there's something going on where jasmine, tuberose, and then on the opposite side, Orange Blossom. I just see this coming up a lot in fragrances um, lately. It seems like just like a winning combination, I guess. But I have not spell smelled, spelled. I have not smelled Cavatina, but just based on the notes, the twist with the tea rose um, just seems like something I really want to check out. So that is also on the list. And I love Ducita. I love their bottles. They are just so pretty and like so elegant. So I have to put that one on the list. So that one is Ducita Cavatina. Next up is a flanker of a fragrance that I think is so, so pretty. It's super popular and that is Lancome's Idol Intense. Um, I always tend to like the more intense versions of a fragrance just because it tends to be a little bit sweeter. So the Lancome Idol Intense, you're working with bitter orange, mandarin orange, Turkish rose, Turkish rose, there's grass rose, Egyptian jasmine, um, jasmine sambac, patchouli, vanilla, cedar, sandalwood. Again, this one doesn't sound too complex. It sounds pretty easy and straightforward. Um, the patchouli vanilla cedar sandalwood with that uh jasmine like a double dose of jasmine in there i feel like it's gonna be pretty heavy and kind of sweet so i do want to check this one out because i absolutely love the original i think it is so so pretty um so i don't think they can mess it up too much and i know yummy did do a review comparing those two and the intense really sounds like one that a lot of us seem to like so i definitely want to check that one out so again that's lancome's idol intense and last up uh one that i want to try is uh another tom ford sole blanc that one i have smelled that one and going over the notes Again, I see a little bit of repetition from some of the other ones that I already like. There's bitter orange, bergamot. There is caraway, which is interesting. Pink pepper, pistachio, is, which is very, very interesting to me. I don't think I have a fragrance with a pistachio note in it. Citron, 
orange blossom comes up again um, Tonka being tuberose that one sounds lovely lovely I have tried a dupe of Soleil Blanc and it was you know pretty fresh and sweet um, it did remind me of the Guerlain's terracotta right out the sprayer so you know I do want to smell the original just to see what the original one does smell like but that is definitely on the list and I feel like overall these would work really well for summer I think some of them are a little more on the mature heavy side a little bit and again many of these might work better for date night or evening but you know I know I'll rock a heavier fragrance during the day as some of you will also but those are my 10 total, 10 that I am looking forward to wearing that I have in my collection right now and 10 that I would like to definitely check out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please check out Yummy's channel and see what her picks are, like what is in her collection currently and what she's thinking about checking out. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing great. And please share with me a few of your summer favorites actually share with me some that you're thinking about that you don't currently have that you kind of have your eye on because you might again you guys enable me so you might introduce me to something that I hadn't thought of yet so again thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video bye